7 is putting you in the driver's seat for this weekend's duel in Detroit. Get up close and personal with our special program tomorrow night. It starts at 7, only right here on 7. It's always a lot of fun and a lot of noise. Belle Isle is already primed and ready for this weekend's Detroit Chevrolet Grand Prix. Can't wait. Brad Galley joins us live from the island right now. And Brad, are the drivers ready to race? I think we saw Juan Pablo already. Yeah, Glenda, Carolyn, they definitely are. They said, you know, comparing it to the Indy 500 last week, it's the biggest race in the IndyCar circuit. They said coming to Detroit, it's all about proving themselves. So they said they've actually been working out more than they ever have before, knowing that there are two races. It's the only time throughout the year that there are two races at one place, and this course is really challenging. But what's so cool about this Grand Prix experience for Detroit, Metro Detroit, and really everyone that comes down, there's something for everybody. Today, one of the most special events that happens throughout the weekend. You saw little boys and girls today walking hand in hand behind their teachers. Students from the Detroit Public Schools were here to learn about what goes on behind the course, behind the cars, and the guys and girls who make it all happen. Our Justin Rose caught up with some of those kids and their teachers. What are you doing? Pedaling. You're pedaling for what? For a race. These were the types of races that were most popular early today on Belle Isle. Over 700 students got the chance to take in all the sights and sounds of race weekend with fun activities that captured the imagination of each kid who pedaled, colored, or raced in their own right today. We learned about the races and how the cars go around the track. We've learned about friction and I'm looking forward to what else we'll learn. What was one thing that you didn't know about that now you do? That the big gears are harder to pull than the, the smaller gears. And while it may look like fun and games, I mean, who doesn't want to play a little bit of tug of war on a Thursday? It's the basic principles about physics and mathematics that these kids are learning today that will hopefully transform them into racers and racing fans in the future. Before we came here, they gave us a lot of things to get us prepared. They sent us a pack and each child received a car. So we rode the cars in paint and they learned the different car tracks by the different tires. We went to a Grand Prix event where they were able to be in races and we raced bikes. So we've had a wonderful learning experience. They want to play first, but the, the, you know, the learning is fun too. So they're all excited about learning how things work and getting to actually use it. You know, so that's, that's fun. On Belle Isle, Justin Rose, 7 Action Sports. Justin, thanks a lot. We are here in the paddock where all the drivers prepare. This is the only thing they're going to let me drive this weekend. This is a golf cart, but you can see behind me where all the drivers are rolling in today with their crews and just a sampling there of the big, I guess, feel of this weekend because you've got kids, you've got adults, you've got drivers, and really, this is a weekend full of races. If you like trucks, if you like cars, our photographer Matt says, slow down, man. I got the brake hit. There you go, Glenda Carroll, and the fun is just beginning here on Bell Isle. And Glenda, I'm with you tomorrow night here for a big party that they're setting up for, too. Looks oh, pretty cool. It's, it's really cool, isn't it? It is, and it all benefits the beautiful island that you're on right now, Brad. And I can't yeah. wait, starting at 7, but you look comfortable behind that wheel. One hand, kick back. It's that kind of this time. This wheel. <laughs> Not these wheels, just this wheel. You know, what I, you know what I think is really great is yeah. that families can go yes. down, and you can take your kids yes. down. Yes. It's something for everybody to do, not just adults. Yeah, they've got the family fun zone down here that they bring out every year. They've got concerts. And listen, a lot of people say, I don't know if racing's my thing. Listen, growing up, honestly, I grew up in a car family. I liked cars. It wasn't a big deal to me. I came down here. I soaked it in for 30 seconds and fell in love. Yeah, a true yeah. experience. Yeah, it is now. Thank you, Brad.